Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. For today's video I'm going to be showing you all how I spot clean my guinea pig cages. All right, so this is what my guinea pig cages look like. I do keep all of my guinea pigs on fleece. So today's video will be about how to spot clean using fleece. I usually spot clean every single evening, but I waited till the next morning to spot clean to show you guys for this video. So it's actually been a little bit over a day since I have spot cleaned. I really do recommend spot cleaning every single day. Like I said, I usually do it in the evenings, but I waited until this morning so I could show you guys in the daylight we could get a better view. And as you can see, especially back here, it has gotten very, very messy. So it is definitely time to spot clean I do full cage cleans every single week but I find that spot cleaning every single day is what allows the fleece and all the items to really last the entire week so there are multiple tools that you can spot clean with many people including myself started off using a dustpan it's actually the dustpan that I got when I first got my guinea pigs in order to spot clean their cage and you can just sort of sweep up all of the hay and all of the poop every single day and while this is definitely the cheapest way to spot clean, it is also the most time consuming because it takes a really long time to sweep everything up. Another option is a hand vacuum. This is the Black & Decker hand vacuum. It's cordless, it charges, and it's really easy to clean up everything with. My only issues with a hand vacuum, I know a lot of people really, really love this as an option, but personally, I have to empty it a ton of times. So when you pop it open, you just empty it like this and dump all of that into your trash can. However, with the size cage that I have and the amount of cages that I have, when I cleaned with my hand vacuum, I would have to empty it every five to 10 minutes while I was cleaning over and over and over. And as you can see, it also isn't very good at getting up the hay. So it can get up the smaller pieces, but it doesn't really get up any of the larger pieces. A lot of people don't really care about having hay on their fleece during the week. Personally, I like to sort of get up the hay and keep it inside my boxes. So I actually use a shop vac. So this right here is my shop vacuum. This is actually like a very industrial vacuum. It's only about $60 on Amazon, but it's really great for sucking up all the hay because it has like a really wide nozzle here. This one I have is a one inch wide nozzle. If you're going to buy a shop bag, I actually do recommend getting a two inch wide nozzle. I'll link the one that I have below because this is really cheap. It's on Amazon, but if you want a two inch wide nozzle, I think they have them at Home Depot and that can suck up even more hay than this can. So the reason that I prefer a shop back for cleaning is because A, I don't have to empty it every five to 10 minutes. It has a huge container to store all of the hay. So I only have to empty my shop back every couple of days and that's swap cleaning every single day. And also it works a lot better for sucking up the hay. And honestly, just a little like personal thing is I really like the way that it sounds when all the poop gets sucked up into the vacuum. It's like really satisfying to hear that. So I'm gonna show you guys how well this works for vacuuming up hay. So as you can see, that works super well for vacuuming up all the hay that I had right here outside the litter box. But as you also probably saw, it likes to pull at the fleece a little bit. So I find it best to hold it at this angle when you're vacuuming, that way it won't pull up on the fleece. So I'm actually going to go ahead and finish spot cleaning this cage to show you guys. group of guinea pigs this trio tends to be very very clean there was hardly any poop just like out and about on the fleece it's mostly in their hides and in their corners so it's really important to learn where your guinea pigs are going to use the bathroom the most 
So for example, this corner over here and the, in the litter boxes is where this group really, really likes to go. So as you can see, there is a ton of poop here and a ton of poop in the back corner there. So that's why I actually have a bath mat here because it's more absorbable than just a regular fleece liner. And I use this here because I know this is where they're going to go poop and pee the most. And if this is your first time owning guinea pigs or spot cleaning a guinea pig cage, you might find this gross at first, but it's really nice to just feel around your cage and make sure there aren't any wet spots where they have peed too much. So despite this being their favorite place to use the bathroom, it actually is still very, very dry because this bath mat is super absorbable. But if this were to be wet, I would just swap it out for a different bath mat and swapping out things on top of your main fleece layer will make your cage last longer. So like I said before, different guinea pigs will have different litter habits. This is my other group of three and they do not use their litter box quite as much as my top trio. They like to sort of go everywhere. And part of this is the fact that they are in complete like covered cage. Since they are on the bottom, their entire cage is covered and the whole thing feels like a very dark and safe place. Guinea pigs tend to poop most in places that are dark or in hides. So that's why on top you saw that most of my gu gu guinea pigs went in dark corners or inside of their hides. But down here, since the entire cage is covered by a second cage, the whole place feels very safe. And so they tend to poop a lot more all over the place. So I'm just going to move all of these hides out of the way. And then we can see here that there is a lot of poop and the reason that this bath mat is here is because I know they really like to use this area to do their business. So I have extra bath mats here for extra absorption. So I'm going to shake these off, vacuum up everything, and then see what feels wet and what needs to be replaced. I'm going to feel and see what areas of this bottom liner feel wet. So still back in this corner, it's still wet. So I'm gonna put my bath mat back over top of that corner and also make sure that my bath mat doesn't need changing. So I'm feeling the bath mat and it actually is wet right here. So I'm going to take this and put it in my dirty laundry. So I just grabbed a fresh bath mat and I put it down in this corner. You can use bath mats for spot clean. You can use, also use pee pads. I'll show you what those look like in just a moment. So this bath mat on the other hand still feels dry to me. So I'm gonna be keeping this one in here for another day. And then tomorrow when I spot clean, I will check and make sure it's still dry then as well. This right here in this back corner is an example of using pee pads underneath hides. So I know that my girls love to go in this wooden house and they love to pee there and spend a lot of time there. So I always make sure to put a pee pad underneath it. This is the one I had underneath it before today and I'm feeling it in this top side here. It doesn't feel too wet. So I'm going to leave it in here. If it does feel too wet, I would check the other side and then possibly flip it over. So I'm gonna put it in here, dry side face up. And same with this hide here. This pee pad is actually very dry. They haven't been using this hide a ton this week. They've been sticking to the other ones. So I can feel that this one is fine to leave like this. And the big test is to check around their litter box. It's very wet. Most guinea pigs are going to pee and poop most when they're using the litter box and eating their hay, which is why I like to have a separate area for their hay. That way most of their pee and poop stays in here, but mine like to sit right here and eat out of the box. So I know this area is going to be a little bit wet. So I'm going to also grab a larger bath mat for this. And these bath mats that I'm using here are actually from Target. So I will link them down below if you're interested. I have a ton of these and I found they worked really great for me. So now I've covered up the area right here that was wet and I've made sure all their poop has been vacuumed up and all of their hides have clean pee pads in them. So this cage is finished. And last but not least, I'm going to be doing Waffles Cage. Waffles is my single male. He's actually right here. I don't know how well you can see him, but he is my unneutered boar, which is why he is not able to live with my others at the moment. So I have him in here and he is very, very messy. I don't know if you guys can see 
the size of his poops are like two or three times larger than my other guinea pigs. He also pees a lot, which is why I have his entire cage covered in this large bath mat from Ikea. But having this for super messy pigs is really great because I find the bath mats are more absorbing than just plain fleece liners. And since he's very messy, this is a really great solution for him. Now, this right here is an example of a pee pad that is definitely going to need to be changed. He loves to sleep in this back corner right here, which is why I use one of these pee pads for it. So I can already feel this is wet without even needing to feel it. I had already assumed that this was wet. And then I actually have a spare pee pad right here. Now, my closet is kind of a mess, but I did want to show you guys my pee pad collection. As you can see, there's some lying on the floor right here, but I have these drawers here that are literally so full, I can't even pull them out. And they're full of just small size pee pads. So I have small ones, and then I have all of these larger ones. I have square ones, circle ones. I usually get them with my highs or I buy them from small businesses off of Etsy. I will link quite a few small businesses down below where you can find yourself some pee pads. If you are good at sewing, you can also sew them yourself. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube, but as you can see, I have so many pee pads, which is great. I actually probably will use all of these within a couple of weeks just because my guinea pigs go through them so fast. So one more thing that I did want to go over with you all is actually the use of litter boxes in your guinea pig cage when you're using fleece as your main bedding. So even when you're using fleece as your main substrate in your guinea pig cage, I really do recommend having some sort of litter or like shavings, paper-based bedding, something like that in your hay area. Because like I said earlier, guinea pigs are going to pee and poop most when they eat their hay. So this is an example of one of my litter box areas, but this is a two by one litter box that I use for my trio up here. And as you can see, there is a lot of pain here, but when we go down underneath, there is also a lot of poop. And then even further down is where I have my shavings. And as you can see, the shavings are starting to get wet and so is the hay. So what I like to do about two times a week is I actually take out all the gross, dirty hay out of my litter boxes. I throw it away. I scoop out any really soiled bedding and replace it with fresh bedding. Excuse me, sir. So definitely over here, you guys can see, this is feeling okay. Some of it's more wet than I would like, but over here in this back corner is really where they have gone a ton. So I'm gonna scoop out all of this and replace the bedding in this area. And feel free to wear gloves if you guys are concerned about touching anything. Personally, I just make sure to wash my hands really well. It doesn't really concern me too much, but feel free to use gloves if you're not comfortable scooping with your hands. Now, some people do like to litter box train their guinea pigs. Personally, it's not something that I've had any success with. I've never been able to successfully litter box train my guinea pigs. However, some people do say they are able to litter box train theirs. Personally, I just like to learn my guinea pig's litter habits and then work around those. But if you're interested in litter training your guinea pig or at least trying to, there are some videos out there on YouTube. Personally, I think it takes too much time and effort to successfully litter train them. I prefer to just do the litter boxes the way I have them and then just work around their personal habits. Now this is their other litter box and I don't think they use this one quite as much. I'm just gonna show you guys. If we go down to the very bottom, in here where the bedding is honestly there's a little bit of soiled hay but the bedding is hardly even soiled at all you gonna try it out come on in she looks so small next to the mound of hay come on in baby no and then i'm just going to continue to show you guys the state of the litter boxes just for comparison purposes this is waffles um there's only one pig in this cage but as you can see it is very, very wet under here because he really likes to use this litter box. He also just honestly pees and poops a lot more than most guinea pigs. So I'm just gonna quickly give this a refresh. And 
what I use in their boxes is actually kiln dried aspen shavings. You can use paper based bedding, paper based pellets, or kiln dried aspen is usually what people prefer. You want to stay away from cedar and from pine that isn't kiln dried. Come here, buddy. Look. Want some fresh hay? Boy. And the final litter box is the bottom trio. So I think they use their litter box not as often as waffle to the top, but not like never. So you can see there's some dirty in the corner back here and then also up here in the front. All right, and that's it. Now all the cages have been spot cleaned. All right, and that concludes today's video. Just as a reminder, I do not do all the litter box stuff every single day. Like I said, I only do that maybe once or twice a week, depending on how dirty my pigs are, how much they use the litter box. So you don't need to do that every day. Some people, they do if they're getting pigs are litter box trained, or if they use the litter box a lot, you can clean the litter box every day. But the spot cleaning, the vacuuming out the poo, the changing out the pee pads, if you want your fleece cage to last an entire week, that's the stuff that's really important to do every single day. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you found it useful and helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to see more of my content. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.